You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update and 24 Baltimore City Schools letting out early once again today because of the heat. Some are due to broken air conditioning systems, but the majority of those don't have air conditioning at all. Baltimore City Public Schools has been working on a plan since 2017 to install AC in all of the schools. Now at the time in 2017, 75 schools didn't have AC. Now that number is down to 14. City School says that they do have funding and plans in place to upgrade those remaining schools. We have a list of the schools that are being let out early posted on our website. An animal hospital in Federal Hill will be back open today with limited services after an hours long standoff there ended with one person being shot and another being arrested. This all happened yesterday morning at the Light Street Animal Hospital. Police say an armed man went into the building and shot another man in the leg. That's when the standoff started. It ended three hours later. Officers did arrest one man, but they haven't released any details about him. Witnesses at the scene tell WMAR 2 News that the victim is a vet at the animal hospital. The suspect is his brother. They believe the motive was a possible landlord dispute between those two brothers. A global law firm with a location in Baltimore is moving back downtown. DLA Piper's office is currently near Mount Washington. According to a news release, the firm signed a 10 year lease and plans to relocate to Harbor East by next June. DLA Piper moved away from the downtown area more than 20 years ago. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good afternoon, Maryland. Today will be very hot and steamy. It's going to be feeling more like the upper 90s to nearing 100 degrees outside right around 3 to 4 o'clock today. The hottest part of the day will be between the hours of 1 and 4 o'clock this afternoon. So make sure you find ways to beat the heat, stay hydrated, bring that extra water with you. Right around 3 to 4 o'clock, we'll start to see this energy push in from west to east. So a few isolated showers and storms uh, could become a little bit on the stronger side. So damaging winds and even the potential for some localized isolated flooding will be the main concerns that wraps up right around the eight to nine o'clock hour and then we dry things out as we head into early Wednesday morning. So three to eight o'clock that's going to be the window for severe weather. Gusty winds and flooding will be the main threats depending on where those stronger storms set up shop turning less humid and actually more tranquil. It's going to feel really nice for Friday with a high of 85 degrees then warming back up this weekend. Megan. All right. Thank you, Stevie and stay with WMAR 2 newscom for updates to stories throughout the day and for your news and weather while you're on the go. Don't forget you can download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.